Hello, welcome. I was about to cry because nobody was here and I said, oh my God, I am alone, forever alone. Hola. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Again, um, some questions that you have and I may help you. Algunas preguntas que tenga sobre alguna estructura y que le pueda colaborar para aclarar. Pues tal vez. Tal vez ahí con el uso del have y del has. O sea, okay. Have, have to, have, has to. Ok. Ok, I'm going to share my screen with you, ok? Ok. Le voy a compartir mi pizarra. Ok, le voy a desactivar el audio ahorita. Para... Bien. Okay, uh, we say, I have to pay attention in class. Yes, that is an obligation. Yes or no? Yes. Tengo que poner atención en clases. Sí, es una obligación. Pero si lo usamos con él, decimos, he has to pay attention in class. Él yes. tiene que poner atención en la clase. So if you notice here, the verb is the same, but in third person singular, we use has. Yes? Yes. The verb changes in simple present. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, if we say they have to collect the trash uh, on the streets, that is another obligation. Yes, you know the meaning of trash? Yes. Basura. Mm -hmm. They have to collect the trash on the streets. That is another obligation to help the environment, para ayudar al medio ambiente, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Entonces, vemos acá. If es, I ask pero you, aquí, a, aquí, teacher, sorry, aquí ya es plural, ¿no? They yes, have. that's why, yes. And I'm going to explain to you something. You know that we have the personal pronouns. I, you, sorry. I is the first person singular. Yes? I is la primera persona de singular. And then we have mm -hmm. you is the second person singular. Then we have I, you, he. He, third person, third person, third person, singular, right? And then we have she. She is also the third person, singular, okay? Mm -hmm. And it. It is also third person singular. Okay. And now, which is the next uh, subject for now? El siguiente pronombre personal, ¿cuál es? We. Oui. Ah, no, personal. Yes. Yeah. We, oui, because I am included, yes? Yes. We oui. is the first person plural mm -hmm. and they. we have no because you have ah here we are missing one that's why i oh where is you hey it moved because it was you here right you Is uh, the 
second person singular. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it moves. Maybe I touched mm -hmm. something because we have written. Okay, now listen. This is kind okay. of interesting. Mm -hmm. No, it was okay. It was okay over here because those were the examples. Okay, so here I'm going to write it. I is the first person singular. And then we said that you uh, is the second person singular, right? Mm -hmm. He, but I want to write it in capital. He is the third person singular. But I'm going to move it like this because they get easily, you know. And then look at this. You have I as the first person singular. And we have we as the first person plural. But because we have you as the second person singular, when I say, hey, you, Ada, ask the question to another partner. I am referring to you only one person, yes? But if I say you as the second person, plural, when I say, listen, students, all of you are going to work in a small groups. In mm -hmm. this case, you means plural, not only one student, but all the students or many students, okay? Mm -hmm. And yeah. then we have obviously, which is the other uh, personal pronoun? They. They, very good. And they is the? Third. The third person? Plural. Plural, yeah? Because you are talking about the girl, about the boy, about the cat, different people, but you are not included. So you have to pay attention and he, he has, in simple present tense, when you don't have a modal auxiliary, en el presente simple, cuando no tiene eh, un verbo auxiliar, el verbo que utilizamos para tercera persona de singular, he, she, it, is going to suffer a change. Va a sufrir un cambio. In this mm -hmm. case, if we conjugate, okay, the verb have, we know that we use have for uh, I, I have, you have, we have, have and they, they have. have. Remember that you either singular or plural use have. The only mm -hmm. situation is with has. Has mm -hmm. is exclusively in simple present tense for um, he, she, it. Yes, it. but the meaning yeah. is the same, pero el significado es el mismo. Sí. Okay, are we clear? Okay. Yes. Ya estamos claros sobre eso, perfecto. Sí. Any sí. other doubt, miss? No, teacher, only. Okay, about can. No can. questions about can or can't? No. Okay, so. No for a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At this moment, that was the only situation. But I think that now that you have clear about the first person singular, uh, second person singular, third person singular, and the plural uh, person, is first, second, and third person plural, I think there is no problem for you. Hello, Heidi. Yes? Ahora creo yes. que ya lo tiene un poquito más claro, right? Bye, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good bye. night. Bye. bye. Take night. care. Okay, Heidi. Uh, do you have any question? About any topic, Heidi? The microphone. 
Hello, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Tell me, how can I help you? How can I help you? About questions, I have made some homeworks, but I don't know if I'm doing it right. Okay. How can I make sure, because I have sent homeworks, but how can I make sure? Ah, because you 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 know, but the platform uh, gives you the the score. The platform gives, gives you the score. You the score. I, have, uh -huh. I understood that there is a homework a day, right? Yeah, every day there is a homework. Mm -hmm. If you wish, you can share your screen with me. I'm going to stop uh, okay. sharing so you can. So you can share your screen with me, okay? Okay. Let me share it with you now. Ah, okay, perfect. I need to know uh, because it says homework one, homework two, homework three, and homework four. So it means um, and I understood that there's one homework for each day. Yes, but listen, the red color is for the regular uh, activities, for everyday activities. Acá le está mostrando a usted el progreso para las actividades eh, regulares de todos los días. El color gris se lo va a mostrar el día del examen final cuando usted lo tome, ¿sí? Y el color uh -huh. ocre va a ser para el viernes de la otra semana cuando ustedes tomen el examen de medio eh, periodo, ¿sí? Entonces acá tiene usted uh -huh. su puntuación. Homework average. Acá tiene el promedio de homework. ¿Por qué? Porque es hasta donde le ha eh, evaluado la plataforma, donde usted ha trabajado durante todo el curso. Pero como todavía nos hacen falta tres semanas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, entonces ahí progresivamente. Pero... Ya. Ajá. La pregunta es, por ejemplo, uh -huh. acá dice, acá dice homework 01. Uh -huh. Ese es el de un día. ¿Cuántos ha hecho usted? Es que he hecho varios, fíjese, porque no sabía hasta dónde termina. Cada día, cada día hay un homework por cada unidad. Usted ha ingresado a la unidad 1, unit 1. Sí. Okay, in unit one, you have to uh, complete all the activities in there. I because and there are some discussions that uh, I have found nothing in there. Yeah, I'm going to ask the administration tomorrow, okay? Okay. Because some of your partners have told me that. Okay. That would be the only thing. But um, here, we have homework number three and homework number four mm -hmm. because there is one assignment for each day. Mm -hmm. So I have to finish until homework number four. Number five. Number five. But where is the in number unit five? One, in unit one. Mm. Okay, scroll it, scroll it. Can you see here? This is uh, unit one. Okay, here. For each scene and story, you have a hundred percent. One, two, three, four, five. You are done with that. Ya finalizó el homework de la unidad uno. Okay. Yes, and section unit and number two. One day. Unit one is the day one. Yeah. Because we are in 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 unit in unit, uh, yeah, in unit one, this one. Okay, that and means you have by the end of the week. 
by the end of the week, I have to finish until you need. No, miss. No, 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 no. Listen, you have, uh, you, you were supposed to finish only unit one because okay. it is for this week. Next okay. week, unit number two, because we're going okay. to be discussing and working got online enough. orders and refunds, but you are done and you got 100%. Yes? I got so, it. Yeah, okay, so you are okay. doing excellent. Okay, I just needed to tell you, um, I'm so glad and I really, really appreciate uh, this class of the opportunity because uh, I, I never studied um, English for enterprises and, and it really helps a lot. Yes, and how many courses have you taken? A lot of them, a lot since I was a kid and I'm 40, <laughs> 43. <laughs> okay, because I'm learning. I attended, I attended uh, Centro Cultural Salvadoreño about for three years. Okay. I remember, and then I, I attended a Hambra High School in Los Angeles when I was 15. Oh, good. So, so you have a good experience, but you need I to continue practicing. Yeah? I haven't practiced. I haven't practiced since a long, a long for, time ago. For, so. for a long period. But now you are practicing. Yeah, but yeah, for Inglés para el Trabajo, how many courses have you taken? None. This is your for first el trabajo, one? Ninguno. It's my first one. Okay. And I'm very glad because I'm learning not only about my business, but from the others. Yeah, we learn from other people and every day we learn something, exactly. right? So thank you for being always many responsible. Many and you see your responsibility is here, yeah? Congratulations, you are a great student because even though you have a, a lot of knowledge and experience in the language, you are always very responsible, okay? I try to be respectful and, and I was just kidding, but they were bullying me yesterday. Oh, yes. really? <laughs> <laughs> but it is friendship, yes? Uh -huh. they, they were saying, oh, no, we don't want to work with you <laughs> about why and i go like why why <laughs> uh, they feel shy i don't know oh maybe they consider that you master the language and they uh -huh. feel that they are not you know according to your level probably mm -hmm. yeah okay but probably but yeah. i'm learning i'm learning and um at first, I asked if I could make any test so I can, they can find out which level is the best one for me. But but it's okay to start. It's okay. I'm learning new vocabulary. Believe me. Yes, that is what so, I was so about I'm, to I tell you. Happy. <clears throat> okay. Excellent. Congratulations. Happy and grateful. Okay. Good. So I really appreciate. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you for joining the meeting, okay? Because it and shows- I, And since I ended homework, <laughs> I'm going to bed because I'm really tired. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much for joining as I call you, okay? No, thank and you, thank I, you. Okay, thank you. I hope that you enjoy uh, your bed, relax, and you're going to charge <laughs> your energies for tomorrow, okay? It was a pleasure to be you with so you in class and in this session too. So you see, even though you are very tired, but you are, as I was telling you, extremely responsible because you are here, yes? Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much, miss. It was a pleasure. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to stop sharing the, the screen. No, I, I, I'm trying right now to okay. stop sharing. Let's see. I stop share. It's okay. Now you're ready. <laughs> yes. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good Take night. care. Blessings. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.